Hi guys, it's Rebecca. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. Today's video is going to be my second update for my A to Z Project Pan. You guys didn't know I am doing my updates every other month. So this, even though this is my second update, this is actually four months worth of progress. So uh, I'm just going to get started. I am very excited because I was kind of getting discouraged, not going to lie. Uh, when I did my update in, when did I do it? March, I think. Um, I had only finished two items. So I was like, great, I still have 24 items to go and I only have 10 months left. And since last update, I was able to finish, hold on, how many did I finish? Yeah, since last update, I was able to finish five items. So that's really, really cool. Uh, and I'm, that's what I'm gonna start with. So I'm gonna start with, even though I'm starting the ones that I finished, I'm gonna do them in alphabetical order. So I have my list here, so just bear with me, okay? So for the color, for the letter L, I'm lying, K, I had picked this Mali um, cream eyeshadow stick in the color Dusk. There's a K in Dusk. And last month, or last update, I was up here. And now, obviously, I have finished it. I love it. The way I used this was I put it all over my, my, my lid as a base for whatever eyeshadow color I was wearing. And then I also used it as an eye as a liner both on my lower lash line and on my regular lid so since i started using it that way it went really really fast and i'm very happy that i started using it that way because i have three eyeshadow sticks in that i want to finish in 2018 so i'm able i'm happy that i was able to finish this one so then i finished the letter n and that was for nars and i used this little deluxe example of the creamy concealer whatever it's called in the color medium one custard i took out the stopper so you guys can see very, very clear. Uh, I scraped the sides. There's like nothing on the wand either. I used just all that I could and I liked it. I can see the hype of, of this project. A lot of people say that it makes their um, under eye really crepey, but I really believe that it has to do with the kind of powder that you use. <laughs> that was not a motorcycle, that was my dog, okay? Um, I really think that it has to do with the kind of powder that you use because when I used um, like a regular face powder to set under my eyes, it looked super dry and crepey. When I when I used a really um, fine milled loose powder like the Laura Mercier or the um, I have one from Sephora, the Sephora house brand. It looked really really nice. So I liked it. I would consider to repurchase this in the in the future. Though I have a lot of concealers still. Then for the letter P, I used this Tarte waterproof shadow stick in the color. Uh, sugar plum so there's the p and this one also last update i was up here and i used it up today as a matter of fact when i was getting ready i used it as my base and that is actually the eyeliner that i'm wearing as well so uh in the last two months i was able to go through both of these um eyeshadow sticks and i mean look at how much progress i had from the previous update i really didn't have much progress but since i started using it the way i told you guys um, it's like I use this in a month and I use this in a month. They both had about the same, same amount of progress to begin with. Um, so I'm very, very happy. Um, I really recommend you guys to use it that way. Um, it really worked for me. I hope it works for you. Then I forgot about this one. <laughs> this is for the letter G for Laura Geller. I went with this Bake Balance and Brighten Foundation in the color medium. I used this sucker up completely. Can you see that? There's nothing here. Like there's nothing. I used it up all the way. Um, I had hit pan and I showed it on Instagram. I was super excited. Uh, and once I hit pan, it went really, really quickly. And then I had to repress it. And I started using it as a bronzer. Just because it's, it's too dark for me. It's in the color medium. I'm usually medium in everything. But I guess this line goes a little bit darker. So maybe I need to use a shade light. But yes, I used it as a bronzer a lot of, of the time. So I'm very happy that I was able to get it out. I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to because it's a very, like it was a very dark color for me. Um, whenever I used it on my face at the beginning of the year, I looked really tan. <laughs> but ever since I started using it as a bronzer, I was able to hit pan really quickly and then just get through it once I hit uh, pan. So i uh, very, very happy. I would consider purchase, purchasing this in the full size, I mean in the future. However, I would buy it in store. I bought that online just so I could swatch the colors so I can find a good match for me. So, um, And then last but not least, for the letter U, I used up an Urban Decay eye, um, lip liner in the color Deep. 
And I don't know if you guys can see that white dot, that is the wax that's inside the pencil that holds the product, I guess, in place. So I was sharpening it, my pencil and then the little piece fell out and I saw the white stuff in the middle. So I was like, oh, this is done. So um, yes, that's another product out of my collection. So like I said, I finished five items, so I'm very, very happy. And then last time I used up two, so that's seven. So I have 19 items left in my collection. 19 items and eight months left. So uh, I'm very happy. Hopefully I can work through some of these items for the next over the next two months and I can have a ton finished as well. So I'm gonna start in alphabetical order. For the letter A, I have an eyeliner from Lancome. This is the Arch Liner and it's a black liquid liner. Uh, it's a felt tip liner. It's very, very dark. I haven't used this in a while because I was using my uh, cream shadow sticks as a liner. Now that those are gone, I'm gonna go back to using this one. Um, this one is almost, well, not that it's almost finished, but um, I have made some progress, I feel, because once I draw the line and I try to go back, like in the inner corner, like the tip of the, of the um, applicator doesn't have a lot of product, so I can't go back, so I have to go back and dip it and then use it on, on my eye. So um, maybe, hopefully, by next update, this will be done. B is for Benefit, and I put this, uh, the Real Push Up Liner. This is a gel liner pen. This is still brand new. I haven't used it because I don't want to have two liners open and then one of them dry out. So once I finish the one from Lancome, I'll start on this one. For the letter C, I picked this Sephora CC Cream, and I swear this is the never-ending CC Cream. For some reason, the way the packaging is, even if I shine a light through, I can't see through the packaging. I don't know how much I have left. This feels really, really light. <laughs> I've been using it for the majority of this month, of this year. Um, so maybe I am down to like here. Maybe I can have it finished by next update. I don't know, but this is taking forever and I just want to finish it. But anyway, that's this one. D is for Dior and I'm using this liquid, not liquid lipstick, but what is this called? Fluid stick from Dior in the color Kiss Me. Uh, I haven't used this since last update. For E, I picked uh, an eyeshadow from Smashbox in the from the full exposure line. Um, that's what this looks like. I haven't used it once. F is for a foundation primer. It's from Laura Mercier. I have two two foundation primers, and I am working on the other one. This one, as you guys can see, I haven't even opened yet. So hopefully, I'll get working on this soon. H is for Hourglass, and I have picked this ambient powder in the color Dim Light. And unfortunately, there's not much progress. I've used this like here and there, but not really consistent. So there's like hardly any progress. I really want to finish this by the end of the year. This is in my products I want to use up for the for 2018. So hopefully, since I finished that Laura Geller and I, that I used as a bronzer, and I was using this as a bronzer too, um, maybe I can concentrate on using this one. But for now, not much progress. I is Instant H Rewind. It's a primer from Maybelline. Uh, I'm almost done with this one. This one has just like the tiniest bit. I think this um, has some air in it. Uh, so I really think I'm going to be able to finish this one soon. Um, <laughs> I'm kind of getting tired of this one. I'm so used to just using deluxe size samples for primers. And most of the time, half of those little tubes are empty anyway. So I feel like I go through those really quickly. So having work, haven't been working on... Um, this primer for this long kind of gotten me has gotten me a little bit tired um, but I guess that's just normal how long it takes to use a full-size primer but I'm hoping I can finish this one by next update for Jay I picked a uh, lip gloss from Buxom in the color Jennifer it's this real pretty purple pink color um, I am down to here I did put this in a cup of um, warm water to make it all settle but since I had it in the little tray it kind of moved around but that is my line right there. If I had focused on this, maybe within the last week or so, I think I would have had this one finished, but I didn't, so it's okay. Uh, no problem, for sure, I'll be able to finish this next update. L is for Lancome, and I'm using this um, blush in the color A Plum. This was a gift with purchase blush. Um, I've used it every now and then. There is a little bit of a dip already. I think I'm really close to hitting pan, so hopefully, uh, I will have hit pan by next update. M is for MAC and I am using this lip primer. I honestly, I hadn't used it since last update so the progress is still the same. Q is for Clinique and I am using this uh, chubby stick. This is a deluxe size sample of their highlighter. That's all the product that is in here. I've never used it because I have two other um, 
what do you call it, highlighters in another project pan. Once that other project pan finishes, I'm gonna focus just on this one. So hopefully this one will be done by the next update. R is for an Urban Decay uh, lip liner <laughs> in the color Rush. So that's what this guy looks like. I started using this one once I finished the other one. Um, and that's the color right here. I never marked these pencils, so I'm sorry. Uh, I've sharpened it a few times, but it's still pretty pretty new. Um, this one, however, has kind of um, like, I don't know if you'll be able to see, no, you can't see, but this one has like little glitters in it, uh, shimmers. So when I put it on my lips, like it looks like I have a shimmery lip. Um, I didn't wasn't expecting that, so that kind of took me by surprise. But yeah, that's this one. S is for Smashbox, and I use I'm working on this um, lip liner, always sharp lip liner in the color Sherbert. I haven't used this one once. T is for another Urban Decay lip liner in the color Turn On. Uh, it's this one right here. It's a little bit more pinky than the other one. Um, it's this one right here. Also, I didn't mark the pencils. Uh, this one's actually about the same size as the other one, uh, but yeah. I've sharpened it also a few times, but not enough, I, I don't think, to make the progress noticeable. W, I am going with this Maybelline Instant H Rewind. There's a W in Rewind. This is a concealer, and last day, oh, I didn't mark it. Last update, I was up here, and now I am down to here. It was brand new when I first started it, and I made quite a bit of progress, but not so much this time, uh, because I did have, as you guys can see, I have a bunch of concealers. I did use up two concealers. I hopefully, since I got the other concealers out, I can start focusing on this one a little bit more. And I don't know, maybe have more progress by the next time the next update comes around. X is for Buxom, and it's a the X in Buxom. So there you go. Uh, this is in the color Mai Tai. I haven't used this once either. Y is for the YSL Touche Claude Concealer. There you go, that's another concealer that I have here. Last update, I hadn't started using this one, but this time I have been using it, as you guys can see. Hard to tell what the progress is on this one because there's no way for me to see, but this has very little product, 2.5 mLs. Um, there you go. And I've been using it um, a few times already. I think, <clears throat> excuse me, I think this will be done by the next update just because there's not a lot of product in here. Um, I like it okay. I don't really see the hype. This was like super hyped a while back, uh, many years ago, and I don't see what's so special about this one. So I don't think, this came in the Sephora Favorites kit, so thankfully I didn't pay full price for this, uh, but I don't think I would purchase, out of, purchase, purchase it out of my own pocket, like on its own. Um, but I mean, who knows? And Z is a lip balm from Dino Platz. Dino Platz is spelled with a Z at the end. And this is in the color or scent number two, Beat Jam, and like beets. And that's my progress right there. You guys should be seeing a progress picture from before. I would have had, honestly, a lot more pan than what I have right now because this was my nighttime uh, lip balm. But then when I started my drop 10 before summer, I put another lip balm in that project so I stopped using this one to focus on that other one that one is almost finished it once I finish that one I'm gonna go ahead and start using this one um, this smells incredible incredible I love how this smells and that's it guys that is my current progress for my A to Z project pen I hope you guys enjoyed um, I really like doing these every other month just because since most of the products that I have here are full size um, it takes longer to see progress on those things. So um, I hope you guys don't mind that I'm doing it every other month. I will leave my introduction and my first update linked in the description box in case you guys are interested in watching it. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on my next video.